If you've ever sliced your finger while building a model and you failed your armor saving throw, go ahead and hit that like button. Gentlemen, welcome to Conversion Beam. Today I've got something very special for you. If you love Blood Angels, you're going to love this. So here I have both the Leviathan and the Blood Angels Assault Terminators. And the goal for this conversion is to pretty much smash them together in an attempt to make something epic. Since a little bit of sculpting is going to be required, this conversion will be rated medium to hard in difficulty. We will begin by clipping out the Leviathan bodies. Clean them up and attach their shin pieces but do not put their bodies together. Or maybe you can and skip this part entirely but if you don't, you're gonna get some pretty epic marines. You gotta trust me man, I'd never lie to you. Now the reason for this is because we're going to remove the leviathan torso and add the blood angels one in its place. This is where the conversion gets a little bit tricky. Here you can see me trying to cut away underneath its breastplate but I fail miserably so my advice here would be just be as messy as you want, just do not damage the belt buckle or the belt. Once that step is complete, you can finally glue the front and back pieces together. You can get your Blood Angel's torso and test fit it against the Leviathan body. I found it to be an okay fit without any trimming required, so I went ahead and glued that on, and then repeated that process for three more Terminators, except for the Sergeant, I left him as normal. Now this next part made me a little bit nervous because I've never actually used green stuff before, but I eventually built up the courage and mixed it together. I then wet my little fingies and rolled it into a tube and then shoved that tube into the gap using this little metal prodding tool I found. Adding more green stuff where needed until I get the girth I'm looking for. Happy with the bulk I've achieved, I then grab a citadel texture spreader and after giving it a little dip in water I use it to flatten down the green stuff and try to shape the edges. At the end of the day this probably isn't the right tool for the job so the results aren't incredible but they aren't terrible. Just a side note, I would recommend being very thorough when mixing green stuff together. Those yellow bits you see are so annoying. <laughs> Anyways, after getting the shape I'm looking for, I grab a big, wet, thick brush and I stroke hard, which actually really helped removing the imperfections in the green stuff. I then decided I want this guy to stand out a little bit more. For that, I was going to need this really cool chain tabard and belt buckle. So being as neat as I could, I clipped it away from the old Terminator's baby legs. As you can see, I didn't do the best job being neat, but that's why we have purity seals. To attach the tabard, I would have to make space by clipping away the original belt buckle, which was a bit annoying to do with that freaking vial in the way, but I got it done. And I then glued the piece on. I didn't film this bit because I have no brain cells, but I glued on a purity seal to cover up that corner that I ruined of the belt buckle, and also a reliquary I found from the Primaris Intercessor kit to hide the rough edges of the tabard. And using a bit more green stuff, I bulked out his tum tum a bit more. With that finished, we can move on to the next step, which is a simple task made annoying by the push to fit bulges on their arms. So we're going to have to scrape them flat using a hobby knife before we can attach their arms. Three of these terminators will be equipped with lightning claws, so I'm going to start with them. And to be honest, we can hardly call this step a conversion because we're just assembling terminators at this point. Just keep in mind when assembling terminators, their chapter pauldron goes on the other side. Just uh, learn from my mistakes. With the arms and pauldrons attached, we can finish these guys off by attaching the Blood Angels heraldry found in the Assault Terminator kit. If you can find it in your heart to look past the messy green stuff, I think you'll agree that they came out pretty good. I believe every Space Marine squad should have a clear second in command below the sergeant, and for this squad, it's going to be this guy. So we'll glue on the Thunder Hammer and then start assembly of this dope as hell Storm Shield, attaching that as well once it is dry. And this pose looks hardcore dude, it reminds me a bit of Lionel Johnson. And with the pauldrons and the blood angels heraldry attached, that guy is complete. For the last marine, the sergeant, we're going to equip him with a thunder hammer as well. And for the storm shield, we're going to dip outside the terminator's box a little bit and get an indomitus storm shield from one of the 9th edition lieutenants. These nubs will need to be trimmed before we can attach the terminator shield hand. But once it is scraped down, it'll assemble pretty close to how the other shield was assembled. Resulting in a very open and inspiring pose fit for a leader. Once that's dried, or if, uh, if you're impatient like me, before it's dried, you can start attaching the pauldrons and the heraldry. And that leaves one more step, and that is attaching the head for the sergeant. I picked this one out from the Blood Angels Terminators kit, but it's round on the bottom, so I'll need to trim that down for it to fit on the leviathan body. And that completes the conversion. It was a bit challenging for me, being the first time I've used green stuffed, but I, I'm really happy with this. 
and this is how they look with paint. If you have any suggestions or feedback, leave them down below, and if you like what you see and want me to make more videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.